Now we are joined by Mr. Vijay Varesha, Chief Investment, Chief Investment Officer at Century Financial. Welcome, Mr. Vijay. Happy to have you. What about Visa? Let's start with Visa. Uh, with the slowdown in uh, the credit expenditure, uh, with the, the highest base uh, since the uh, pandemic, uh, what should we understand with the slowdown uh, in the uh, credit? Well, majorly what we are seeing is because the bond yields have gone so much higher and the credit score has have gone down so much, there's a lot more incentive for people to start saving and to reduce spending. We definitely are seeing that consumer confidence is also going down. We saw consumer confidence numbers come to 102 levels as compared to 106.5, which was expected. But yes, we are seeing that spending will reduce because we are seeing treasury rates at all time highs. Is there a possibility of a Fed default? It looks very unlikely. But for anybody who wants to save money to make 4.5% returns on treasuries is definitely unheard of. And that's what we are seeing. There's a flight to safety coming in the markets right now. But Mr. Vijay, uh, despite this uh, slowdown globally, uh, the uh, revenues of Visa went up. Uh, let's start with Visa, and uh, we'll talk about semiconductors, but uh, there is uh, less expenditure and more revenues. How to understand this because of inflation, uh, because the prices went up? Absolutely. So we are seeing that inflation is playing a major role in the margins that businesses work on. So a lot of companies are reporting higher revenues but lower EPS. Many companies are reporting much lower revenues but higher EPS. The business models have changed quite a lot and that is going to be for almost all companies going forward. This in, these inflation rates will favor certain industries and will definitely be harming a lot of industries which require a lot of raw materials. So we will see sectoral rotation coming in uh, even in the next years onwards. Mr. Vijay, what about uh, the semiconductors and, and the production of uh, chips? Do you think that uh, this will make us convinced that we uh, entered into a recession in uh, many countries or maybe there is another sector that uh, may be the priority because in uh, chips uh, today uh, it affects many sectors? Absolutely. The recession causes where are mainly is inflation and inflation is due to energy prices as well as supply shortages. In the supply shortages, we are looking at chip manufacturing industry, which is the most affected due to geopolitical risks. We are seeing every country having to, having to try to con uh, create their own chips, but it is not easy and it is a time taking process. The supply chain shortage will definitely cause a ripple effect to all other industries like IT, uh, automobiles and many more. So a chip shortage is definitely the one which is the most worrisome right now and that definitely is increasing the chances of a much deeper recession. With uh, the uh, recession risk going up and tomorrow there is an ECB meeting and then the Federal Reserve meeting and uh, the same trend, are there any more uh, steps? Uh, for these banks to take uh, in a way or another in order to protect uh, their economies from the recession? Most likely the central banks are pretty much doing whatever they can. They have increased interest rates to beyond belief and it looks like that it is not really affecting inflation. There might be a time when the central banks might start getting dovish in nature. We might see the ECB going towards the easing policy like how the Bank of England has gone. We might see Fed also showing a dovish statement to 2023 because clearly increasing interest rates is not keeping inflation at bay and there has to be other measures that central banks in the world have to be thinking of towards. Ms. Vijay, uh, how uh, may, they may change, but uh, don't you think it's too late to act now to change? Can we take any other new measures? Definitely, there will be a lot of measures that the government can take besides the central banks. Government policies easing on the taxation, also government policies on how unemployment has not become a major factor, but that to ensure that unemployment doesn't become a factor which leads to the recession is where the government actually has to step in more than the central banks. The central banks definitely are doing the monetary policy which they can at the best level, but most likely the governments have to now start stepping in. 
Mr. Vijay, can we say that now uh, we are in uh, a real recession, especially that uh, we are speaking of the likelihood of recession, and day after day, this likelihood is more. Today, the Eurozone, the UK as well, uh, followed by the US, uh, are we already in a recession, uh, or should they wait a little bit? So we are in different kinds of recessions right now. We are seeing the bond market overall in, uh, over the world is already in recession. We are seeing the equity markets in, in China are definitely already in recession. But we don't see that kind of a recession on the equity markets in Europe and US already coming in. Maybe there's a lag effect, but most likely Europe is going to be the most to suffer with this inflation rates. And we most likely can see a much higher possibility of the Eurozone and then the US also heading the equity markets also in a recession. So it is definitely a very high possibility right now and it is definitely cautious times. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Vijay Varesha, Chief Investment Officer at Century Financial. You joined us uh, from Dubai and until next time.